Chapter 26 King of Kings When King Jorasunda was born, in an unusual twist of fate, he was born in two halves. A demoness used dark magic to stitch the two halves together, and as a result, Jorasunda was near invincible in battle. During their match, Beam had torn Jorasunda along that seam. Thinking their contest over, Beam walked away, but a maniacal laugh made him look back. The dark magic that joined Jorasunda's two halves together was still in effect, and he recovered from Beam's attack, ready to do battle once more. Beam was at his wit's end. He looked to Lord Krishna for guidance. Lord Krishna plucked a leaf from a nearby tree, tore it in half, and tossed the pieces in opposite directions from each other. Beam understood. He tore Jarasandha apart once more, but this time he tossed the right half to the left and the left half to the right. This destroyed the dark magic that kept him alive, and Jarasandha was finally defeated. Taking control of Magadha, Lord Krishna, Arjun and Beam freed the kings that Jarasandha had imprisoned. They were grateful for their freedom and pledged their support to Yudhisthira in his bid to become the world king. Lord Krishna appointed Jarasandha's son, Sardeva, as the new king of Magadha. Unlike his father, Sardeva was a wise and righteous young man and would make a just king for Magadha. Likewise, he also pledged his support to Yudhisthira. With all the pieces now in place, Yudhisthira proceeded with the Rajasuya Yagna. Hundreds of kings arrived in Indraprastra for the ceremony, including King Dhritarashtra, his son Duryodhan, Grandfather Bhishma, Guru Drona, and the rest of the Karavas. The ceremony ran over many days. Brahmins performed careful and precise rituals. During the Rajasuya Yagna, kings and representatives from different regions were invited to participate. They would pay homage to Yudhisthira, acknowledge his supremacy, and offer gifts as a symbol of their acceptance of him as the world king. The ceremony was not without incident. King Shushapala was a cousin of the Pandavas and Lord Krishna. He had received a curse from a sage named Durvasa in his early years. According to the curse, Shushapala would meet his end when he committed a hundred heinous acts. Due to his envy and animosity towards Lord Krishna, Shushapala consistently insulted and abused Lord Krishna during the Rajasuya Yagna. When he crossed the threshold of a hundred offenses, Lord Krishna unleashed the Sudarshana Chakra, the divine discus, and beheaded him, fulfilling the curse and putting an end to Shishupala's transgressions. After several days of festivities and rituals, the Rajasuya Yagna came to an end with final ceremonies and blessings. The participating kings and rulers departed from the Yagna, having acknowledged Yudhisthira's supremacy. However, Duryodhan remained in the palace for some time longer, admiring the beauty and the craftsmanship, and within him he felt a great envy growing, and a deep hatred. Thank you for watching so far. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're new here, please subscribe. This will ensure that more people can find this resource. Click the notification button so that you can be the first to know about new uploads. And please do comment below. I'll do my best to reply to any questions. Thank you.